Just a couple, uh, couple more uh, guests to get through. I think everybody, you know, spoke, speaking along the same lines and, and, and very interesting. Uh, the next uh, speaker I'd like to invite up is uh, Gary O'Keefe. Uh, Gary is from Kanduko Recruitment and is an expert in helping you find and keep the right team. And I think Eddie talked about, Ray just talked about surrounding yourself with positive people, surrounding yourself with people for, for that are good for your business. So, uh, Gary, if you'd like to come up and face the music. First of all, Kanduko, strange name. Where did that come from? I suppose you could say it. Maybe it sounds strange to me. I said something was strange to somebody one day and they said, compared to the children's name, compared to what? Yeah. Uh, Kanduko was actually a um, highly sophisticated name brought up by my wife. <laughs> and uh, Kanduko was the Latin name for to hire. And the we. It was a sign. <laughs> a sign that I hit the table. No, no. Uh, Kanduko was the Latin name for to hire. And we changed the O with an A, and all of a sudden, we said, oh, look, we're a Kanduko. <laughs> so that's what we are, and so that's what we run ourselves. So you're in you're in a really competitive uh, you're really competitive environment now. Uh, recruitment, uh, right. you know, there's a lot of talk about uh, there's a lot of talk about people, you know, uh, young people especially immigrating. Uh, a lot of talk about people, you know, staying in jobs or something. You know, how how is the recruitment business to you? Um, this is actually very good for us at the moment, and the couple of things about it is it's, it's a really good indicator of business because uh, we, would have, we would have felt in 2007 that things, something was wrong. So we're the first business to know that things are slowing down, and conversely, we're the very first to know that things are speeding up. So we've been speeding up now for over a year and a half, and people are talking about business, you know, is it improving now or is it real? Yeah, it is really real. It's, it's on, and people are hiring now strongly, stronger than ever. And that's, that's a very positive indicator. And so, a bit like Ray, you know, you talk to people out there that sort of want to take us over nuggets of, of information. You know, getting the best person, the best fit um, for your for, for companies out there. I mean, what's your advice on people that are looking at recruiting, people that are looking at getting people into the field that are expanding? You know, what's, what's your advice on? Making sure that they get the person. I know they can't be 100% sure they can't be anything, but ensuring they do the best possible fit for, for a company or business. Well, for me, if anybody comes to me and says, "Look, I want you to hire me a whatever, sales manager," the first question I ask them is about well, why. And before you go hiring anybody from from a floor sweeper to a general manager, you have to really understand why you, why you want that person, what they're going to do for you, what's going to look like at the end. We often start the process by, by examining that and getting to understand really and truly, making sure that that person is hiring, to sure that that's what they want. Because, you know, the worst thing you can do is pay somebody like me, who's probably the most, you know, cost-effective recruiter in town. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, you don't want to hire somebody in for them to fail. So you have to give yourself every possible chance to make it right. So start there, understand what you want, understand what you want them to do. And he says about communicating it to them. And he talks to us about creating a platform for success. And if you're sure what you want first, then you know who you want to get. So that's where it starts. And for businesses generally that are looking out there to expand, looking to grow, you know, what's your advice to be about there thinking, okay, yeah, times are right, you know, rumblings in the market, that things are starting to turn around, want to go to it, want to expand. What's, what's your advice for? Well, look, at High Achievers, we do, we do a lot of inward looking, you know. You look in first to see why you're doing something and what, where it fits with your general plan. But if you're sure you're going to grow a business for whatever reason, for whether it's to buy the villa in, in, in New Zealand or wherever, you're really going to have to look at it. You're really going to have to look at getting the team right, getting the structure of the team right. They can talk to us there about having two things, vision and structure. So if you're going to hire someone, say, right, Get the person that fits that job the best. Be sure that you understand that job, and then get somebody who understands what you're looking for and go out and get it. You can't achieve anything if you're an assassin, which is a fairly lonely game. Well paid. Well paid, if, you're, if you hit them. <laughs> but it's a very lonely game, and uh, you still have to have a team. You still have to, somebody who gave you, have to have somebody who gave you the hit. No matter what your business is, you have to have a team. There's your accountant, your lawyer, whatever. So you can't build anything unless you have the right people on board. So go and get them. And I suppose finally, you know, well, the, the High Achievers Club for you, uh, how have you found it? You know, what, again, we've talked before, you know, why did you 
join, uh, you know, and what's the, what is, what's the benefits you've got out of it? And, you know, how, how long have you been a member? I've been a member since last year. Yeah. And what I've got out of it, uh, I suppose, is, is a lot of clarity and results on paper. You know, I mean, when you, when you get your head clear, when you get yourself right first, put on your own oxygen mask first, uh, you can do anything. Um, guys talk about being lonely at the top, you know, and of course it is lonely anywhere unless you have a team. But high achievers, for me, gives it a bit of clarity. I, I joined personally because I wanted to learn a new language and we were trying to understand Declan and Stevie. It was very useful. And, 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 and it's also had my geography because I didn't know that Ireland was also known as Mexico, which they went to think was down south of Mexico. There's obviously somebody else from Mexico. <laughs> But you know, but you know what? Um, the, the first decision, I, I'm in a, a major business decision last year to, to change around a couple of things. One of the first decisions I made was to join the High Achievers Club. And you know, spending, spending a few bob and something like that on yourself, you sort of, yeah. you're always the worst, is this the right decision? Yeah. And I, I say, you spend the money on yourself first. Because if you're not right, you don't have money. Get yourself right, get your head right, then get your team right. Then build it. And that's that's what high achievers means for me. Also, you know, there's an old saying that says that you become the average of the five people that surround you every day. You know, so I'm a translator. I bet you if you look in, if you look at look into your own teams, I better look trying, you know, but being around high achievers, like very high achievers, yeah. like Joe, for example. Um, you know, and it rubs off them. But yeah, I mean you can't grow as tall as Joe, but it does it does help. <laughs> that could be a goal. Could be a goal to be as tall as Joe if you lost your legs and that in the background. <laughs> but seriously, you know, like you know what? Being in a team like that and surrounding yourself with people like that uh, makes all the difference and, and really gets you. You're, you're talking about goals. Any any talk about the difference between goal setting and, and goal activation or, or actioning? I think you said you can't do any of it unless you have a team that understands it and that, that they know that you, you know what they want to do or what they have to do to do their job to help it along. So in your word, in, in one word, in your opinion, money well spent? Money well, I want money well spent, Chad. Gary O'Keefe. One more song. I, I can sing a song if you want. I can sing a song if you want. Just, just before you go, um, I was very flattered that you wanted to stand up, but you know, was it habit or, or instinct? But um, one, of the, one of the things that we want to do for people because giving is, is receiving. Uh, we're, we're so passionate about the fact that we believe, you know, understanding yourself and understanding the people on your team is critical. You know, whether it's from a HR perspective, right, how you manage your own team. You know, we mix it. We're the only place that mixes HR and the team. And we're so passionate about it. We want to, to give away a little bit. No people will think about this. All high, all high achievers will, will know the term this, and I suppose we would be familiar with it in different ways, whether it's uh, psychometric testing or whatever, you know. But it's a simple test that we want to give everybody, and all you have to do is text, text, disc, D-I-S-C, to this number up here, which is my number, and you shouldn't text after 12 at night, because extra rates will apply. That's the best way to stop them. 0 <coughs> And the first 10 people who text me DISC, we're going to go and give them a free DISC assessment or whatever format works for them, and we're going to see whether it make an impact in their lives. So get texted. Get texted. Thanks, Gary. Thanks.